we're trying to do something which is practical. Um, <clears throat> so it is about you know, generating more jobs and opportunities. It's about um, supporting each other uh, when we're bidding for uh, funding from external sources. It's about um, making sure that the connect connectivity between the two cities um, is stronger and is improved. It's easier to get to work in either one or the other. Um, it's easier to uh, take the benefits of, of the two cities. Well, businesses don't know any boundaries. So uh, businesses don't have loyalties to a particular boundary or geography. Uh, they want to, to locate in areas where uh, there's opportunities uh, to, to make money, where there's a you know, good workforce, where there's good transport uh, infrastructure, uh, where, that, where actually uh, the uh, leaderships of the cities where they're located or near to are making decisions which are progressive, uh, which actually creates a healthy uh, economic environment for, for businesses to flourish. If you were to engage consultants, and give them a clean sheet of paper and say we need to, to create a new urban environment in the UK, go away, invent something. Because you would place that environment in the centre of the UK, you would place it at the heart of the road, rail, infrastructure network, you provide it with an airport, you then provide it with good leisure facilities, you probably provide it with good professional sports clubs, you provide it with a, an escape environment, a rural environment like the Peak District or the Vale of Beaver. Um, so you'd actually create from scratch what Nottingham and Derby is. Nottingham is in this, in this country a core city. Derby is a key city. Bring those two things together and you have an international perspective that you can take out there to Europe and beyond Europe. But Derby and Nottingham combined, you know, have a very, very strong creative and digital industry sector. Um, we mapped the sector a, a few, about two years ago, and we identified that there are almost four and a half thousand businesses in the area, as well as all the freelance workforce that exists here. So it's a big burgeoning sector in, in Nottingham and Derby. It's very lively, it's very vibrant, and it's creating growth, it's creating prosperity, and it's creating jobs. So at Nottingham Women's Centre, we believe really strongly in collaboration and partnerships, because then you can um, pool your resources, you can share best practice, you can work on things together and make your resources stretch further, which is really needed at the moment. Yeah, when the, the name, the, uh, the A52, as I used to call it, Brian Clough Way, I think it was a fitting tribute, you know, for what he'd done for both cities. Um, and obviously at Derby County, it was, it was a fantastic resurgence for a struggling team. And it was exactly the same at Nottingham. Um, you can put statues up and you can put, you know, pictures up. But I think, you know, naming a, the actual road in between Derby and Nottingham kind of unites both cities in some way. In those few areas where we still want to compete, hey, let's make sure that the competition is really fierce. But uh, in 90 or so percent of what we do, actually cooperation is better than competition. Um, and let's cooperate and let's do the best we can collectively for the people of our two cities. Yeah.